What is up? My name is Sarah and I am a fitness instructor in NYC. This is Trainer of the Month Club with Well and Good. And I'm going to take you through a full body strength and conditioning class. Today you'll need a set of dumbbells, a mat, and of course your bod. So let's get it started. Starting with our warm-ups, feet hip width apart, rolling those shoulders back, proud chest. We're gonna take it down for some squats. Nice and easy here. Seeing where your hips are today. Starting to ignite that core, belly button to spine, and again, keep that chest nice and proud. In less than 10 seconds, we're gonna say hi to those hamstrings for good mornings. Hands behind head, hips push back. Here's that countdown. Four, three, two, one. Hands behind head, pushing those hips straight back, driving those shoulders down your spine. And you wanna make sure those toes are facing the space right in front of you versus a little angled out. Few more reps here, less than 10 seconds. Taking it to our quads, alternating reverse lunges. In four, three, two, one. Coming in just a little bit, alternating, hitting 90 degree angles with both knees, dropping that back knee as low as possible, but not touching the ground. Beautiful. Let's go for about 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna hit some upper body mobility. In four, three, two, one. Back to that feet hip width apart stance. Hands behind your head again, hinging at those hips, extending those arms. We're gonna hit upper body weight rows. Grazing your rib cage here. Big squeeze of the scaps, big squeeze of the back. Last few reps. And then we take this out to the side, lateral flies. In four, three, two, one. Soft bend in those arms. Keeping it nice and light. You don't wanna be stiff here like an airplane. Nice and light here. And here's that countdown. Before we take it to the mat, walkouts to your choice of push-ups. In four, three, two, one, check that thing out. We're gonna make our way to the mat. Hinging at those hips, just utilize a nice hamstring stretch there. Walking to your high plank. Any push-up of your choice here. Modification, drop those knees. And then send those hips right back up. Big reach to the sky. Rinse and repeat. Inhale to lower. Exhale, push. If you're like me, I've learned to love me some push-ups. I hated them before. Now we're besties. Last few seconds. And then we're gonna meet in a high plank to stretch it out. World's greatest stretch. Four, three, two, wherever you are, solidify this high plank, pressing up and out of those shoulders, elevating that right foot, hips are low here. Going for a nice opening of that chest, extending the energy through those arms. Inward rotation, leading with the elbow. Last one. And then we're gonna migrate through plank, left side here. Now I want you to assess, does each side feel the same? Are you tight on one side, a little bit looser? Make these mental notes and assessments. And we're back to that high plank, holding here. Last and final moment, and then activation station is done. Four, three, two, one. Let's walk it right back. Woo! I don't know about you, but I'm already sweating. Okay, going into our first working block today. We have two working blocks, three exercises back to back, 45 seconds each, two rounds each. I know that was a lot. First working block, first move. We're gonna hit some squats, grabbing those weights, front racking those weights, squatting it down, 45 seconds. Second one, upper body zone. We have a curl, we have an Arnold press. Last but not least, we're gonna hit some core. Starting in a high bear hold position, walking it forward, three steps, and then we're gonna walk it back, three steps. 
Those are your three moves. All right, let's get it started. Zoning in, grab those weights. Your 45 seconds start in three, two, one. Hips drop low. Just like the warm ups, keeping that chest super proud. Hips as low as possible. Those toes pointing into the space right in front of you. And by now, you're feeling your glutes. You're feeling your quads. How is that core? More than halfway through. You have a little less than 15. We're gonna transition straight into that curl and that Arnold press. Here's that countdown. In eight, six, how low can you go? Last four, three, two. Let's work, extend those arms. One curl, one press it up. Now for that curl, arms as close to the body as possible. For that press up, shoulders down your spine. You are royalty. You are gorgeous. That is your moment at the top, right there. Perfect. Creeping up to that halfway zone. Check in with that breath connection. Check in with that lower back as you press up. Are you swaying in that lower back? Are you squeezing those glutes to protect that lower back? Less than 10 here. We're free of those weights. We take it down to the ground. And four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Little breather for this transition. Let's set it up for this bear hold. Spreading those fingertips. Knees hover off the ground. Opposites attract. Three steps forward, three steps back. Now you have time to play here. Don't feel like you need to rush. And if you ever need to hold that starting bear position to solidify, here's that hold. And then once you're ready, you can start to walk it out again. Again, opposites attract. And just like that, we got about 15 seconds left. Now, these can get really spicy, even for me. Things you wanna make note of are those hips still in line with your spine. Is your booty lifting to the air? Here's that countdown. Last and final. Four, three, two, one. Whew. You deserve a moment, I deserve a moment. Take a second, assess how your body feels. As you can see, we're sweaty. Hopefully you're sweaty too. I'm a sweaty girl. Dry off a little bit if you're sweating. Take a sip. You have about 10 seconds before we hit that round two. Let's get it. We got the moves, we got the grooves. Time to get to work. Round two, we take it a little bit deeper. And again, we're not focused on speed. So find those moments to hold in three, two, one. Front squats for your first 45 seconds. Again, for the second round, if you're like me, you're probably a little excited. You wanna get these right out the gate. Slow it down if you need to, and find those moments you can add a hold. Find that resistance, roll those shoulders back, hello glutes, hello core, and then drive it up. Play with that tempo. Can you hold for about one to two seconds before that big drive? Transitioning into the upper bod, curl and press in eight, Six, last four, three, two. We're gonna squeeze one more in there. One and done. Extend those arms, exhale. Big curl, big press. And for the second round, if you're deciding, hey, I think I can get heavier, I wanna grab a heavier set, go for it. I truly support it. If you need to get lighter, especially for this overhead press, you know I support it too. Halfway zone, right here, right now. We're gonna take it to that core work. Take it to that bear crawl walk. In eight, six, one, two, three more reps. Four, three, two, one. Weight to the side. Set up shop. Once you're ready, you go for it. Those 45 seconds have started. Three forward, three back. I want you to pretend 
you're balancing your favorite tray of goodies, whatever that is to you. Chocolate chip cookies are my thing. Freshly home baked, and I am not dropping them. <sighs> Past that halfway zone. Zone. Check in. Are those hips in line with the spine? <sighs> and here is that countdown. As I count down, you don't speed up. In eight, six, last four, three, two, one. Done, Zoe. This is your moment to breathe. We made it through your first two rounds, entering a new block, three new moves, new tricep. Wipe off the sweat, eyes on me for that first move. We're gonna hit a little deadlift. One deadlift, chest proud, one reverse lunge. Alternating those reverse lunges after each deadlift. Upper body zone, we take it to a plank row and a push up. So I'm gonna set it up for you. For those weights, it should be on the outside of those palms. You're gonna hit two rows. Any push up of your choice, knees down for a modification. Last but not least, we have that third move. It's gonna get a little spicy. We're traveling here. Move my weights out the way. Traveling for distance. One broad jump, hips low, shuffle back into four mountain climbers. One broad, one shuffle, four climbers. That's enough for me talking. The timer starts, one deadlift into that reverse lunge. 45 seconds on. In four, three, two, let's get it. Hips pushed back, shoulders packed into that back pocket. Reverse lunge on one side, back to the center, reverse on the other. Now for that deadlift, you wanna push those hips back to where you feel a slight stretch in the hammies. That is your sweet spot. Drive through those heels to push those hips through. A little less than 20 on. Again, don't focus on speed here. Feel your body moving through space. Feel those muscles showing up for you. And here's that countdown. Taking it to the mat in four, three, two, set up shop. Weights on the outside of those wrists. Two plank rows, right side, graze that right rib cage. Left side, graze that left rib cage. Inhale to lower, one push up. Modification if you need to. Knees down, spine is still really long. And you rock out. Focusing on that back attack and that chest work. This is your halfway mark. Now in less than 20 seconds, I know we said, don't focus on speed, but for this last move, broad jump shuffles, we get a little crazy. Countdown, eight, six, last four, three, Two, gonna squeeze in one more, one and done. You wanna make sure you have space in front of you. We are jumping for distance. In three, two, one broad jump. Stay low, shuffle it back. Hop or step back, four mountain climbers. Now modification, you can step this back and slow down those climbers. If not, green light go, go for speed. Stay low, stay grounded. Guess what, crew? This is your last and final 15 seconds. Here's that countdown. You keep moving into that last second. Eight, six, and four, three, two, one. Dunzo, whew, I got your breath. We did it. One round in the bag. We got one more to go, and then the hard work is done. We're here, we're locked in. Take that moment, catch that breath, shake it out. Figure out what worked, what didn't work. We're back to the top. Deadlift reverse in four, 
three, two, one. Hips push back. Maybe you get lower for those reverses. And you wanna make sure those hips are nice and squared off, especially on that step back. Halfway mark. If you're deciding to get heavier here, move a little bit slower, focus on that form. And guess what? Countdown is here. We transition upper body, plank rows, one push up, four, three, two, one. Danzo, that was kind of fast. High plank it, start it up. Rowing on the right. Then you hit that left. Nice, solid push up in the center. And as you roll those dumbbells toward the bod, again, grazing your rib cage here, driving the weight right towards those hips. Inhale to lower, exhale, push. And here is that countdown before we bring it home. Eight, six, last four, three, two, one, make room. Your longest broad jump, your quickest shuffles. Three, two, one, let's get it. And if the four mountain climbers are ever too much, take them bad boys out. Just hop it back, go for that jump. Halfway zone. How low can you stay for those shuffles? How far can you jump? Let's get it. Count down. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Done. You deserve a moment. How does your body feel? How's your heart rate? Yeah, it's elevated, right? Take that time. You should feel proud. You got through two major strength and conditioning blocks. We hit full body. We added some speed in there. We lifted. Let's cool it down because our bodies deserve. Starting with a figure four, lying it down on your back. Nice and easy. Take a sip if you need it. Let's throw our body some love here. Maybe close your eyes. Allow that heart rate to come back down to normal. Deepen out those breaths. Allow your rib cage to fill with air. And on your next big breath, right ankle, left knee, pulling through the space in between, figure four. Really melting that back onto the mat. Trying to fully dive into this stretch. I know your heart rate is still elevated. It helps to close your eyes. You should feel proud of your body here. In a few seconds, we're gonna hit a hamstring stretch on that right side. Count down in four, three, two, one. Planting that left foot, extending through the right heel. Deeper stretch, that left leg extends wherever you are today, or you can keep it planted. But I want you to drive that energy through your right heel and allow that leg to float into your chest. Find that sweet spot and then deepen out those breaths even more. From here, maybe you add in a few ankle rolls. I have some cracking on my end. How are we feeling over there? A lot of ankle mobility today with those jumps, with the level changes. So again, make those notes. Last few moments, we'll switch in four, three, two, left ankle, right knee, figure four, opposite side. Now I want you to assess how that left side is feeling compared to your right. How are your glutes? Are you holding any tension in your hips? Is your body 
fully relax into this stretch. Keep assessing. And on that next exhale, extending through the left foot, left leg, plant or extend through that right. Now for me, my left is always tootie. This is just about where I can go. She never goes a little bit lower, maybe a half an inch, but my left side always needs more love. So again, make those assessments. Maybe you have some imbalances or maybe they're both a little bit the same. And less than 10, we're gonna flip it and reverse it for some cat cows in four, three, two, meeting in a quadruped position. Equal distance between those knees, shoulders, head and toes. Spreading those fingertips on that inhale. We're gonna drop that belly, squeeze those scaps together. Exhale, spine drives up, big scoop. High-fiving the ceiling with your spine and on your own timing, playing with this mobility. Connecting that breath connection. Maybe adding in some circles. We're gonna take it to a down dog in four, three, two, neutral spine, hips up, down dog. Last pedal through those toes. And when you're ready, soft bend in both legs. As you walk your hands to your toes or toes to your hands, we're gonna roll it up together as a crew, as a fam. For four, three, head is the last thing, two, one big shoulder roll back, proud chest. We did it, crew. This was Trainer of the Month Club with Well and Good. Don't forget to subscribe. See you around or see you on the mat. Sarah out.